Today I'm doing something different. I popped in the other day by my crafters market. They had a major special on. And uh, I got myself something intriguing. And uh, I think you guys out there will also like it. Today I'm just going to show you what I got. Including my pickle rig shirt. Also at the crafters market, they actually got a special now on for March where you buy two t shirts and you get one for free. Absolutely amazing designs they've got on there, guys. What I want to get into is, and I don't know you guys overseas if you also have this there by you guys, but uh, we've got the crafters market, it says here established in 1996, so it's not that long so this is actually not an unboxing as such more than an unwrapping <laughs> if i can call it that but anyways guys what i want to get into today like i said i'm just going to open it up i'm going to show you what i got and uh i'll actually uh later on i'll do a video maybe a ta time lapse video of me building this uh, model um if you haven't seen it go and check on the internet go and check on YouTube I'll probably do a couple more of them as time goes by but for now I just thought keeping with the caffeine that I'm going on my channel I'm just gonna do this one for now so guys let me introduce you to new gears now as you can see there this is basically a car, a wooden car. It's got rubbery parts and springs and actions that you can actually see the motor working. It's all uh, laser cut out of wood. I don't know exactly what wood it is. I can actually maybe check here on the back if I can see. They say here it's a mechanical model, model for collectors. This is Series 70. They don't say what, uh, oh yeah it is. So the general information, the model for self-assembly without glue, the parts are pre-cut on board and easily removed. Please follow the instructions manual and the materials used is plywood and rubber. So guys, as you can see there on the picture, that's basically how the car is gonna turn out looking. It's a model U9 Grand Prix car and it's actually got running parts as well so you'll be able to see this in action once I've completed the model itself so let me quickly just get into the box here Let's see I don't have my trusty knife with me so I'm just gonna try and rip into the plastic okay so there you go it actually says you on the front of the box as well there's a video that you can go and follow but uh, I'll probably give you guys the rundown of the video itself. So there's the video for anyone that wants to uh, scan that code and then you can watch the video. So guys, as you can see on the back as well, they've got a hurdy-gurdy. I don't know exactly what that is. They've got a tractor. They've got a truck and then they've got a tanker as well and there again is the video if you guys want to go and check it out and then that's just the completed model itself on the back as well all the instructions on the back it's quite a thick box let us see how this will actually look when it's out of the box like i said it has not been assembled yet needs to be assembled we'll get into the plywood just now so included in the box of the UGS you get all the rubber bands that you're going to need basically to have the, the Grand Prix car running it's quite it seems like it's decent elastics and then you've got some toothpicks and this is not for picking your nose or picking your teeth I actually think we need to use this 
in the model itself. So I'm actually looking for the instructions, which I don't see in the box now. Maybe it's between the plywood covers, which is all closed up. Oh, okay, so there at the back you can basically see. So it comes in a plastic, the box itself, and then all your plywood parts also wrapped in plastic, which is quite good. And you know it's going to be safe when you need to, uh, to transport it somewhere or you ordered it online from somewhere. So uh, let's just get into this quickly. Yeah, this is going to be a nice fun board for me. I'm actually looking forward to this quite a lot. Right, we'll get into the parts later on. So you get a, a massive book with model itself and uh, there again you just have the picture of the completed car and basically all the instructions that follows I think they said there's like 486 parts to this model or something like that you can actually see the detail there in the engine bay so yeah it's quite a thickish book it's about 50 pages long um, and there's actually a parking as well where you can, you can start it on and off by pushing and the parking also on and off by pushing. So I don't know who came up with this idea of making this mechanical models for you gears. Thank you very much. Guys, so this is basically sheet number one if I could call you that. Basically get some of your engine compartments over here, get your cranks over there, flywheels, the fans, and the feeling it is actually quite good quality. Um, there we have the front grill, it's going to be facing the front of the car, and then it's turn around like that, and then we've got all our gears in here, and we've got a couple of other parts that side as well. From there on out, this seems to be the side of the car. This one and this one that way. Got another couple couple of gears. I think there's a lot of gears that goes into this car and that's why they call it new gears. But uh, I think this is gonna be an amazing be an amazing bolt. You can actually see all the detail they put on the, the inside of the panel there. That's basically your um, your panel inside your car that tells you your motor um, temperatures, your start. You've got your uh, temperature gauge on there as well, and then uh, all the details on the wheels as well. You basically, see if I come closer here, you can see the details on. The wheels, it says the sports tires, models, U gears. So there's a lot that actually went into this model. I know you can actually, I think you get a crank as well. And with a crank, you can crank up your motor um, or your, your rubber bands. And uh, I think they actually said it goes like 16 meters or something like that, which is quite a distance for, for a car of this... Uh, bolt and uh, then on our last we have our wheels that's finely cut laser cut with the plywood and then we've got a couple of other gears as well so it seems to me we've got one two three four five six pieces of plywood paneling that's been laser cut and uh, that will all be turned into the model U9 Grand Prix car. Guys, I'm gonna do this video. I'll probably do it on a time lapse because it's gonna, it's gonna take me quite a bit of time. So uh, for all of you guys that want to check out how I do on this bolt and want to check the, the bolt itself or the time lapse video that I'm gonna put up, hit the notification button down below and uh, as soon as the video comes available, you'll be able to see it nearby on your screen. Guys, I think that's going to be it.
thank you very much for you guys bringing this to us. Um, I'm not sponsored to say anything good about them. I haven't gone into the build yet. It's the first time I'm going to build something from you guys. But uh, seeing and looking at the parts that I just unboxed, it's going to be an absolutely amazing build. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Check my links in my description down there. Check out my other channels as well that I also like and that you guys will also like with unboxings. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Cheers.